Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich. It is home ice advantage gone wrong. This team could be knocked out tonight, and these fans who are showing a nervous kind of raucousness could be watching their last game until fall. So if you're on the team that could go out, what do you think? Well, let's win the first period. Let's make sure that we play our very best in front of our fans and give ourselves a chance to get back on the road and get back in the series. Let's look at the starting netminders. Corey Schneider gets the start, developed with the U.S. national team, then Boston College, then the American Hockey League, then Vancouver, then with the legend Marty Brodeur. He's learned his trade well. Carey Price gets the start tonight. Olympic gold, NHL all-rookie team, winning his goalie in the NHL and led his team in Hamilton to the American Hockey League Championship. He's learned his trade well. It's a wonderful night for hockey. Along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emmerich, and this playoff game is underway. Puck's loose, denied by the roadblock. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Enormous collision. Well, there's no surprise there, Doc. We expected a physical game. The contest will be aggressive from start to finish. There's an early hit to set the tone. Columbus carries it through the neutral zone. Laid on to Markov. Giordano's lugging it in his own end, headed north. The winner Hawks lug that along through center ice. Oh, he made him stumble. Pass attempt to Markov. Trying to go to Pasternak. Into the attacking end. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. And it's pitched up the middle to Placanitz. Good intercept. Pitching it to Kuznetsov. And he's still got that puck up the wing. Back to the point. No completion on that pass thanks to the defender. Nicely into the zone. Shoots. Outstanding save with the glove. You can't ask for a better opportunity in a scoring zone. What a great glove save. It's probably noisy at the bench, but Ray can hear us. You're on, man. It almost seems like the fans are waiting to get into the game, Doc. They're nervous as their team has got their backs up against the wall. They want something to happen and to happen early. Many thanks, Ray. Fires a shot. Tuck that right away. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Directing that one to Lewis. Intercepted pass. Hope checked away by Bukestad. Tremendous pressure. Waits with it. Sends it back the other way. Point to point pass. Pitch to Talusti. Passes it back to the point. Fires. Solid glove save. Covered up just to slow things down. There aren't many ways to slow the game down. This is one of them. Make a save, get a whistle. Possession established. Good reach there. Great point blank save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. And he dumps it in. Columbus shifting gears back in their own end. Snapping a pass to Ponick. On to Borowicki. Shot into the pad. Puck covered, whistle blown. Corey Schneider out of Boston College won a national title, then went into Vancouver where he had to share the load a little bit. What do you notice about his play in New Jersey? Well, he's paid his dues, Doc. He played alongside Roberto Luongo, as you mentioned. He played alongside Marty Broder. Now it's his opportunity to step to the forefront. No more pressure sharing the goaltending crease with either one of those goaltenders. Now it's his crease moving forward. And a save. That's a solid play, and he keeps the attack going with this. It to the point. Puck is thrown to Stewart. Moving it to Yaskin. Gains the zone. Shoots the glove like lightning. Oh. 
quick work on the faceoff. He's got that point pass. Propel to Ekblad. Columbus in their own end controlling the play. Takes that pass at center ice. Good shot down there. Cotton quickly back. He throws it there. Oh, a close call there. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. The Condors get a minor penalty for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Colorado's getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. They must retreat and start back again. Moved along and in. Huge hit. Possession's gone. Almost out of nowhere, the defender steps into him. That hurts. It's dumped in. That puck's loose. Deflected away by Williams. Puck out of play into the bench area right past Ray Ferraro. Borowicki's strength and power really shows the force of this hit. Nice face-off work. That was a great job. Shot back down. More time off the clock. Flings it. Save. Price got the whistle and a rest. Condors need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a pasta visual. Grabbed, the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. The Winter Hawks have it up the wing. Outstanding glove save. Good clean win on the draw. Simple play, made well, strong defense. Columbus with some splendid penalty killing here. Pitching this one to Pajo. Gains the blue line. Good defensive work there. Oh, here's a wrister. Terrific determination by Pajo. That hit somebody. They shot it back down. Now they can get ready for another rush. The Winter Hawks waiting back in their own end. And now it's directed to Zucker. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. Slid to Zucker. Colorado's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Well, that penalty killing group is like a well-oiled machine. They moved at the right time. They worked in sync, and the goaltender made any saves that he had to. Shoots it off. Good place. Blockered away. First period has come to an end, and the goalies dominated this period of play. Nothing to nothing. Hey, fans, don't forget our 50-50 draws coming up in the middle of the third period. Get your tickets now. That pot continues to grow. Schneider's enormous save has kept his team in it. We have ended the period, and he gets a rest. And so do we as we had to break. Eddie, we're about to enter the second period here. What did you think of the opening period of our game? Both goaltenders, Doc, were very good in that first period. Let's go inside the locker room. Let's go inside the coach's office. What might he be telling his players? First off, they've got to hit the net with the opportunities they get, and they have to get more people to the front of the net. Snaps off a wrist shot. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. The Winter Hawks looking to head man up the wing. And snapped up by Krejci. 
sauce big time to Giordano. Using the point, he's got it. Columbus with possession, it's center ice. That puck is loose, a good defensive play. Gives it on a cross from the point. Wonderful wrist shot. That's a good pad save. Looking to Gardner. Columbus with it at center ice. Colorado's getting to the neutral zone. Wonderful block. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Shoots. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Just under six minutes play. Game still waiting for its first goal. They win the draw. Takes that pass. Back and forth they go between the points. Oh, and he robbed him. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. What you say? The Condors with a clean win on the draw. Jokinen's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. Chip to Jordan Stahl. Wonderful stop. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Schneider's pretty fortunate there. He makes the stop on that deflected shot. He's moving one way and has to go back to the other. Solid clean win. The Winterhawks look to make a difference up the wing. Shooting! Wow, what a glove save! The goalie gave him the glove side, and he took it away. What a stop. The draw, the tie-up, and his team prevails. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Beat him on that one. Has it in his own end. Columbus carrying on through center. Gets that one on a cross. Taken to the corner by Pony. Oh, did he ever get mashed? Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. And possession has changed. Great save, point blank. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. What a strong wrist shot. Great glove save. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Tie up there and a good reach and possession. Gives it to the point. It's dumped back in so the defense can come off and get a rest. Good job. He rubbed him right out. That's going to take the intensity of this game to another level. Columbus carrying on up the wing. Looking from the corner. Shoots one. Two guys together with force. Big force. I've lost track with all the hits in this period. Chuck, wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. He's got that pass at the point. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. It's an onside play. And angled to Gardner. 
great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. The winner hops in their own end, setting things up. Up the wing with it now. Great job on a cut pass. Players tired, about to get a rest as we go late into the second period. One into another. Kuznetsov's gonna have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They've clearly got the target on him. Into the end of attack. Passing one off now to Placanitz. 40 minutes have been played in this contest, and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment. Third period coming up. A look at the shots on goal through two. 12 for Colorado, and 10 for Columbus. The Condors are being held in this game by their goaltender. It would be decisively against them without him. Here's an example of his work as we go to break. to the slot, sticked away, off the goal post. That's the way to make him pay. After that hit there, Doc, we better tighten up our chin straps. Throws it to Huberdo. On back to Markov, point to point to Gardner. Oh, broke it up. And the possession taken by Markov. Up the boards with it now. Slides it to Gardner, in front, gloved. That slight hesitation by the shooter allowed the goaltender to make a beautiful glove save. And so we've been on the receiving end of more than a few of these things. This is why you retire from the game. What a gorgeous hit. Just over three minutes have been played in this, the third period. We are deadlocked at zero. The Condors win that faceoff. Takes that pass up the boards. Great stick there. Colorado's controlling play now up the wing. Lots on that to Lewis. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Loose puck captured by Placanis. That pass tipped away by the opposition. Larkin's looking to make a play from his own end towards center. Nicely into the zone. Shot on goal. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Scooped up by Placanitz. Snapped up by Stewart. Columbus controlling play now in the defensive zone. Puts one on. Laid on to Ekblad. Pass attempt to Pajot. A shot, got his glove on it. Pump checked away. The Condors are moving the puck in their own end. Onside. Nap by Yaskin. Good job with the stick. Trying to go to Fowler. Oh, good chance here. He's got a wonderful centering pass. Price is going to stop that puck all night long. It's not a difficult shot, but it's his positioning that makes it look so easy. Krejci's bad night on faceoffs continues. Still has control up the wing. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Chipped down. Nicely received at the point. Brings a shot. Great save in close. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Colorado's two-minute penalty is for cross-check. You want to see a cross-check? 
Look at the player's hands and positioning on his stick. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Great bluff save, but it's loose. The Winter Hawks with possession in the defensive zone. Colorado's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. No way he's getting by there. Pitching it to Cullen. Each team has tried to force their will onto the game at very lightning in that glove. Can't score. On to Pasternak. Paddle to side. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Colorado's got a defensive zone win. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. Gathered in by Gardner. Directing that one to Larkin. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Looks from the corner. Propelled to Larkin. Pass to the net. And at an angle to Gardner. No! He had enough room to unload the shot. He got all of it, just missed wide. Waits with it. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Anytime you get hit, the outstanding save made off a terrific chance. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. The Winter Hawks kill off a hugely important penalty. Well, they just punted away a great opportunity to take the lead there, guys. They just could not get it done on the power play. That's a big miss. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Gets across, looks over his options. Good quick stick. With a blast! Glove! A whistle and a rest. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. A little under three minutes to go in the third. To go here in the third period. An enormous defensive face-off win. Fires. Eyes in the back of his mask. Oh, there was a mad scramble in the crease, and somehow the goaltender finds his puck in behind him and gets a whistle. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. They won it. Now what can they do? And he lets it go. Broke it right up. Muscled off. Looking for options up the wing. Slid to Pasternak. Oh, deflected away. Pass cut by the offense. We're in the 60th minute out of 60, or will there be more? Brings a shot. Stop! Huberto's decision was pretty easy. This low in a slot, just snap it off, and he did. Enzo, this has got to be a great shot, because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. The Condors get the first goal of the game, though it almost takes the entire game to do it. They've got the draw. Snapping a pass to Larkin. By number 13, Jonathan Huberto, assisted. 
Gains the zone. Can't get a shot on. Pass to the shooting position. Nice tip of the pass. The Winter Hawks want to generate something up the wing. Off a of body. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Colorado's pulling their goalie, saying, take a chance. Why not? I don't know if they can get everybody off, but it's dumped in, and it looks like the forwards can come to the bench. Only a few seconds left, and this team can now think about participating in the conference finals. He scores! There's no doubt who'll win this game tonight after that empty netter. Everybody can exhale a little bit now. Once the empty netter goes in, that pretty well wraps it up. The end of the game, the end of the series, but more ahead for the winners. And so ends another playoff contest and telecast. We hope you'll be watching for our next one. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.